Dubai is ghetto. Dubai is ghetto. Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Zach Daniel. And if you're a returning subscriber, thank you so, so much for the support. And uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel for more and more videos coming your way. So today it's a really chilly day here in Nairobi, but we thank God for the weather. However, I have some news for you people. How is the news? It's bad news. <laughs> yeah, I bought a phone. Not actually a phone. Two phones. And both of them are fake. I bought all of them in Dubai. And this here is the receipt. So, I had to come back and then pay. And then, I mean, buy another phone. So, I was buying one phone for my sister. Another one for my business. Just to avoid to be roaming around with my phone. Because... I have been stolen for several several times so i'll also do a video on that it was very depressing for me and i don't want a repeat of that again so i just want to highlight this i had traveled to dubai and you know as you all know dubai is a home for affordable or cheap electronics yeah so the first mistake that i made i went by myself and i didn't really know that when you're going to buy something you should like at least get someone who is familiar with the places so that they can show you around and then maybe you pay them something so at first the phones that i have i had two people had sent me phones those ones i bought original since i got someone who at least took me to get the phones yeah and uh, in case you need someone to buy for you stuff to send for you here you can also contact me i will give you the contact of the person and uh before that i i had not known of the person so i went and bought the phones by myself sema kutokwa dubai is ghetto dubai is ghetto at some point like not everything that they show you is uh, actually glamorous there are some places that it is not everywhere that is developed there's downtown there's uptown and okay the downtown and there are very many streets that are not in good condition so even there you'll be told like okay so i told the person after i had bought the ones that uh, i had been sent so those ones were original and they were actually cheaper than the ones that the fake ones that I had bo that I bought. So I was like, so if I bought the phones and in case I bought the phones that were fake for the owners, I would have been in hot soup. Yeah. So don't see everything glamorous, glamorous. No, Dubai is ghetto. <laughs> so uh, let me just show you the phones that I bought. I had now to come and buy this one. This one I bought here from Safaricom. It was going for 2000 no, not 12000 But then it had an offer. I bought it at 899 So 9000 Kenyan shilling, this one. And it's here, working very good, this one here. So I have had to tell my sister, just use this one for the time being. I'll buy it for you. And then I'll use this one for the business. So it has not been too good on my side so these are the very fake phones that i bought from dubai these ones these two fake phones so i have seen the difference please don't judge me because i really don't do a lot of follow-up on the latest phone or whatever for me when i just what i know when this iphone is out that one is what i'll buy but with this with these other ones to be honest don't blame me i don't know so this one is what I bought. You see, they are almost the same. I don't know if they are almost, almost the same, almost. Yeah, so you see the difference here. But this one is pack six air and this one is pack six, pack six go. So this is what I bought from Safaricom. So it means if I had really had a good sense i would have bought the phone here or if i had bought there i would have bought cheaper but then with the help of someone so with this one the phone i reached here i was trying to even log in or whatever to set up the email the phone is not even going through everything duplicate everything hmm? see the phone is just everything but you try to set an email it doesn't work at all it doesn't work at all and this one i bought for how many dirhams 
I bought this one for 300 so I had bought an infinite but I didn't like it so I returned it since I had also seen as if it was used and then sold to me so I had to add 60 more dirham so 360 times 360 times 30 that's like 10,800 so this is what I had bought it for just hear the noise the noise alone will make you run away so this one here uh this one as you can see down here I had bought infinix don't <laughs> don't worry about the paper mandazi so uh, you see <laughs> so i had added 60 dirham to this one so 10,800 for this phone it's really really fake and this other one this one is techno techno premier so I had to do a research after this, after I realized when I'm here, I'm not able to use this phone. So I bought it for 500 dirhams. 500 dirhams means 15,000 Kenyan shillings. So if I bought this one for 15,000 Kenyan shillings and a friend of mine had sent me another one, uh, it was a Nokia 3.4, a very nice phone. With that one, when I was taken with the person I have told you about, when I was taken, I bought an original phone at 13,000 Kenyan shillings. This one, no. This one, 15,000 Kenyan shillings, fake. First of all, when I googled how this phone looks like after I reached here, oh my God. I also sent the person, look at this phone. I'll show you the difference on this other side. Look at this phone and this other phone. You tell me. Tell me if it is the same. And this one is written come on 16 premier so this is a fake phone the other one doesn't have fingerprints this one has fingerprints and look at the charger oh my god look at the charger wait where is that charger this is for the original one look at the way it looks this one here original this one is for the fake one you can see this is the fake one and let me show you the difference in the earphones as well uh, this is for the original one can you spot the difference? Let me know in the comment section. This is the this is the original one. It has this small paper over here written techno. This small paper. And then see how these earphones are they here. Here. This is how they are made. But for the fake one, these earphones are like this. And then the like there's nothing more about it just like this have you spotted the difference let me know in the comment section and then the shape this one is this way and then the, this is the original one this is the fake one so this is how the original one looks like this is how the fake one looks like like this you can spot the difference Another thing that I asked my friend or the person who sent me uh, accompanied me to buy the original phones for my friends is that he told me you know even in Dubai it's just ghetto now you have to what you what if in this case I try to take to the police most of the people who own shops there are the CIDs or DCI or whatever so in case I try to take it like to report it uh, it might not go through because um, they'll just take the people to the what is it called to the like itakuatu kuficha white like they'll tell the, they'll take the people to the cell to pretend to pretend that they're acting all of a sudden they'll go back they'll not even sleep there just because of the who's and who so it means there's corruption there so let no one lie to you it's just ghetto like here it is ghetto yeah so this phone what do i do with it i tell the person the person is saying bring back the phone i ask the person so will you be able to send me the parcel money i send you back the phones so that you can send me another one the person just say bring back the phone so how can i take the money how can i take the ticket money and uh, go get another phone just i should instead get another phone from here but in case if you are going to Dubai or you know of someone going to Dubai, please connect me. I have someone there who can go exchange the phone for me and then they they come back with the phone for me. Hey, I am really disappointed. I am really, really disappointed. So the Dubai, they usually tell you it's not. There's ghetto places, very ghetto. 
so with that and it's a place that they usually sell a lot of phones a lot a lot a lot a lot of phones yeah so the the place is here the subca subca they usually so this is the date that i bought the phones subca they usually sell a lot of phones yeah so this is the date and this is the building these are the details so in case you see this when you are going to buy a phone just run don't buy from these people so i hope i uh, you have learned something so we'll also research that's a lesson from me you should also research when you're going to buy a phone at least you know like this one sh should look like this and this one should look like this so i'm here with these two phones i don't know what to do i'm just waiting if someone is going to dubai I'll see how I can do it and exchange but if you're going to buy a phone from there let someone who knows around take you personally I did that after um, I had not known the phones are fake it was just God sent the person the person I listened to the person and then he took me around with the two phones that I had bought I'll show you I'll, I have shown you before as well the two phones that I had bought Huawei and Nokia 3.4 those ones were okay. I had no problems with the owner and they were very good prices. Even both of them were cheaper than this one. So I am really, really, really disappointed. But it's a lesson. So not everything that is sold from there is original. So you should be careful, extra, extra careful. So thank you so, so much for my ranting, listening to my ranting and all this. So I hope you subscribe to my channel and see you next time, same place, different time. And please let's remember to support our lady.